Okay, so I was browsing the internet using Google, of course, and this is what I found. Download speed fan access temperature sensors in your computer. And that's the link to it. And this program is great to keep your processor and stuff cold. And here's the program. So, see I got the AMD Core X2 whatever. And that's the avian temperature, and I know I got the crap stuff, because if I got the good stuff, that would be like in the 10s to 20s, but, you know, it's, it's, it's an HP I got like two years ago. And remote is good. Before I ran this, it was like 50 Cs, and this was like 130. This was like 50. This was like 50 also, and this was also hot. But then after I turned my fans, to 100% full power, it cooled down like it was nothing. And you could probably hear the fan running. Now I'm going to turn the fan off for like a few minutes or a few seconds to see the difference in the thing. As you can see, the fan got quiet because I turned it at 0%. And any second now that thing will heat up. The, so 41, 43, 122, 44, this is going down to like 36 C. That's Celsius, so it's like 100 or something. I could probably go in 37. Oh, 44. So this means it's going up. This means it's staying a constant thing. So 41, ambient, same thing, still going. And fan two zero RPM. Oh, and look, it has gone up again and again. Forty five C. So just let me turn on the fan, and I'll tell you the difference of the thing. And that's the fan with full blast. So as you can see, there's no more of that red arrow going up and it's actually going down see that is at 39C it's just the oh look the blue arrow going down means the temperature has dropped going down and this thing at constant temperature going down and the only thing that's bad is the remote because I'm guessing that's the hard drive or something I have no idea it's my computer but I have no idea what the hell that is all that is going up, but it says 41, dude. Last time was 40, so. So yeah, this is a good program if you want to like keep your computer cold or going to be overclocking it a lot. All you gotta do is download the installer and just install it. And I'm gonna post this link up on my description so you guys could get it. See ya.